ask questions you don't want to answer to. Wow, there's a whole lot of people here on this holiday weekend. You just must have thought it was going to rain or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hard for y'all. May is going to freeze in the month, you know? The whole spring season it must be related to March. It must be sisters. Someone get May an Ativan and a snack. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this weekend weather is nice. But here's the problem with the weather on the weekend. Every Saturday and Sunday it rains. Literally, it rains. And during the week when you're working, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, there's people who work on the weekends, and there's people who work off on the weekends. Those people who work on the weekends, this is your season, okay? <laughs> Literally, you can stick it to us Monday through Friday, people, because it has been gorgeous all week. I had to call out of work to get his hand. <laughs> you know, because you don't actually call it work sick, you get working, you're sick. But I tan a little bit differently now, because you know I'm older. I have to sit in a chair, and you know when you're young, you're flipping like a rotisserie chicken, or you're gonna lay on a towel. There's, there's none of that. The front of me is tan and the back of me is white. The only way I'm getting tan is if I stand and turn around to the sun. I feel attention. But here's the problem. The other people are sitting in chairs, so you're like this. Yeah, have a conversation. <laughs> Am I blocking your son? Sorry. Hold on. If not, I'm going to do a little cheese sandwich that you give to your kid. You know how the one side's burnt and the other side's toasted perfectly? But when you serve it to them, you flip it over to the lighter side so they don't know. So they stay But here's the problem. Thankfully, when I call that a work, it's a Friday. Could you imagine if this was a Tuesday? And then you go to work and you're all tan. And there's that one coworker. Somebody give me the name of a coworker. You know, like, Karen. Karen. <laughs> Karen. That's the frick. Is she here? Uh, so Karen's like, how'd you get tan? I thought you were sick. And it's like, I am. This is part of the virus. <laughs> I'm very contagious. You wanna, might want to stay away from me. Or you can say it's a doctor's appointment, right? This is a result of the treatment. I don't know. I think they did a skin peel or something. <laughs> all red. You know. So then you complain to somebody. Have you ever complained to somebody and they run off you? Like they either had the same thing you had, they had it worse than you, they know somebody that had it, or they give you a ridiculous remedy. Like, have you tried exercising? No. Who's gonna do that? I tried to do it. I didn't like that either. I don't recommend it. Oh my gosh. I adulted so hard. I had four kids, married twice, once to a boogie, once to a cop. I mean, think about it. Either way, I've ended up in handcuffs. <laughs> So we don't judge. We're not supposed to judge. But you know you have a friend that goes, I'm not trying to mean or anything. I don't judge. You know they're about to tell you a really good story. <laughs> <laughs> so you listen. And you say, I don't judge either, right? So think about it. Think about couples, okay? In every couple, it's a little off balance. I'm not talking about the people who've been together for so long, they look alike. I'm talking about a couple where there's a hot one and then there's well, not as hot one. Okay? So, like, there's an upgrade. You know? So, you look like a couple. Who, who would you consider the upgrade? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so he's saying he's the hot one. So then what oh, no, no, she's the hot one. She's, she's the hot one. Okay. I'm, I'm the, you know, the fugly one. Uh, <laughs> so if you see a hot chick with a fugly dude, Work. what do you think about the guy? Money. What do they have to have? Two things. Money. Money. Big Big hair. Hair. Big Big hair. Hair. What do you have? <laughs> Here. <laughs> My goodness. Now, what, let's reverse it. 
what if you see a hot dude with a there's nobody here that has that happening, but <laughs> uh, so good looking chick. What do you, what's, what do you think that she has? What are two things she could be good at? She's hey, young. She's kinky. Low jobs. She's kinky. Low jobs, right? Maybe anal. You know, everybody has their thing that they like. So my first marriage, it was obvious who the hot one was, right? Who was the catch, right? So that's why I got married again. The second one, my husband and I take turns. It's, we keep it, you know, balanced. So when I first met him, you know, you're in a relationship as a girl, you're, you're not gonna let him look bad. Like, you're not gonna let yourself look bad for him. You're gonna make sure your teeth are brushed, your hair is done, you got makeup on, right? And then he's wondering, how did I get her? And then, you know, you feel bad for the guy. You're like, you know, you should have a chance of being the hot one. <laughs> so, you know, you, get, you, you give them a shot. You help pick out their clothes. You help dress them. You push them into, like, a career that would make money. You know? You help them get a good haircut. And then they become hot. You let yourself go. And they're the hot ones. And they're loving it. I hated it. I absolutely was like, I look homeless. People are talking to them now. We're in a grocery store. The cashier's flirting with them. This is, this is how to stop. So as a good wife, I know what he likes. I make them cookies. You know, you got to sabotage that. It's all about balance. It's all about balance. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh my okay, so thinking about balance, I try to be a good person, but have you ever videoed yourself driving in a car? Could you imagine if that was a reality TV show? <laughs> I know I'm not a good person in that scenario. I have this skill set of getting behind the worst drivers ever. I will be driving along, the person in front of me doesn't even do the speed limit, and they decide they need to make a complete stop to make a right hand turn. Don't use the turn signal. I don't need to know where you're going. It's none of my business. <laughs> I will curse them out. I will pull up. Before I get there, though, I am guessing the type of person that's driving that car. And I pull up, and you look over. Just to see if your stereotypical self gets right. And you're like, and then you have to make sure they see you. You're like, I'm a person. 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 I'm you're in a white Honda Pilot in Davis County. No one's moving for you. They don't care. So who here thinks they're a good driver? I do. Of course you do. Of course. Of course. Right. At least you know you're on the hot one. How about you? Are you a good driver? I'm a good driver. You're a good driver. What do you do for a living? Are you hesitating? There must be something people husband. would hate you for. I'm Catholic. I'm Catholic. How about you? What do you do? You. Me? Yeah, you. What do you do? <laughs> I'm a cop. You're, oh, you're a cop. Okay, good. So you're a cop. You're clearly, you got money, you got a nice shirt on. How like, does it feel to be like? To the most hated demographic. <laughs> I'm sorry, right, we're just jealous. But speaking of driving, make sure when you all go home, you be careful driving, stay safe. Um, actually, traditionally, demographically, teenagers are the worst drivers, especially in Bucks County. Look out for them. Have a great night, guys. <laughs>